making Paula Deen's um, crock pot mac and cheese recipe and I just got it off of Pinterest so I'll link it down below but um, the first thing I'm doing is just boiling two cups of elbow macaroni and cheese or <laughs> elbows macaroni and so here's everything else that you're gonna need some milk some of this cheddar cheese um, soup and then I have sharp cheddar cheese sour cream four tablespoons of butter or half a stick um, dry mustard and then salt and pepper and yes I still have Mr. and Mrs. Claus out um, and it also said you could use three eggs but I don't have any eggs right now so um, it did say the eggs were optional so I'm just not going to use them because I don't have them right now alright so I drained my macaroni and I only like half cooked it I didn't cook it all the way because it is going to be sitting in the crock pot um, for like two and a half hours so it'll finish cooking in there but now I'm just going to take my butter and melt that and then you want two and a half cups of um, your sharp cheddar so this is a three cup bag so I'm just gonna measure it out ah, okay that's good one two and then like half all right 
now I'm just gonna get the butter melted and the cheese melted. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is spray my crock pot. All right, I'm gonna put my cheese mixture in there. Ah! That splashed a little bit. All right, so that goes in there. All right, so I need half a cup of sour cream. My whole can of soup. A uh, half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. I don't like a ton of salt, so putting that in there. Same thing with pepper, half a teaspoon. Dry mustard, I am gonna measure this. So half a teaspoon of dry mustard and one cup of milk. The recipe calls for whole milk, but I'm using 2% because that's what I have. Now I'm gonna cover it and cook it on low for two and a half hours. All right, I almost forgot to add the noodles. You add the noodles too. Um, so I just put mine in and then you let it cook for two and a half hours. All right, so I did stir it a couple of times already, but um, it's done now and this is what it looks like. So I can't wait to eat it. Mmm, looks so good. Smells good too. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this and have some dinner. All right, so Trevor is over at his friend's house. He's sleeping over tonight. Um, it's his first time sleeping over at a friend's house. His first time sleeping away from home other than at his dad's house. So this will be interesting. Hopefully he gets through the whole night over there. Um, but there's three boys all together over there, so I think he'll be fine. But anyways, it's eight o'clock at night and I just checked my mail and Trevor is not here to see this, but um, I just wanted to show you guys really quick before I close out the vlog. Um, so my grandma, who is Trevor's great grandma, obviously, um, sent him this picture that she colored and I just wanted to <clears throat> share it on here because I thought it was so cute. But look at it, I mean, she colors better than I do. So I thought that was so sweet of her to do. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. I'll probably hang it up. I'm definitely gonna save it, put it somewhere because it's just special. So I'm going to probably um, hang it up in his room, um, maybe frame it or something. But I thought that was a nice little surprise to get in the mail. So anyways, um, I'm gonna call her tomorrow and tell her thank you and um, let Trevor tell her thank you because he'll be home tomorrow. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight to you guys and thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can check out my other videos. I will see you guys in the next one, bye.